cameras, Kodak, and film. All movies. You know, it's funny. <laughs> I, I almost wish that there was something that I hadn't sponsored or paid for myself. But I, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what people expected as far as a Roman Egyptian emperor, really. But um, like I say, I mean, I don't know what people expected. Like, do you want me to just say bow down and <laughs> kneel before me? Actually, I did say that jokingly one time. But um, I mean, um, I was always about the technology. Um, I guess you could say I was always about saving the world or protecting the world, making the world a better place. Um for the equivalent of apparently thousands of years. I didn't know it was really that long, to tell you the truth. Um, for me, it was just a couple of years. But, I mean, I was going from project to project to project to project to project to project to project. Invention to invention to invention. Uh, making better mining. Um, pounding through rock. I had a lot of fun doing a lot of this stuff. Um, inventing bricks and stuff and basically just over managing overseeing making things better making the world a better place but this is about cameras and film a long long time ago um well i wanted things documented so i was really working hard on on that on on the photography thing really funding a lot of money uh, into a lot of things you know the first slide cameras the first still cameras metal in in Bossing and stuff are, are metal metal um, plate photographs, which mostly you know we had film before. The problem was is that it degraded really fast, which is why I was really going for the glass plate or lead plate something or other film type because of the fact that all the other film degraded. You had to constantly be um, rephotographing, redoing it over and over again throughout the years. I think it only lasted like 30 years or 10 years or something like that. Ridiculously short half-life. Um, and ridiculously expensive. Uh, the first movie, I think, cost $1,000 or something, which is the equivalent of um, like a billion, million dollars today or something like that, or a million dollars today. Um, billion dollars a day, I think. It was really, really expensive. Um, so anyway, though, but, you know, World Emperor... Um, uh, the basically the the person who actually owned Caesar basically or whatever, um, um, it, the person who basically ran Egypt, um, I'm pretty sure ran Egypt, the person who kind of ran Russia for a while and a lot of other countries. Um, although mostly I only ran them for when I was actually working within the country, um, building it up, inventing technologies. I only really ran a lot of a lot of countries. Like I was running them in the in the beginning when they were getting set up, putting in the sewer lines, uh, building the aqueduct, um, getting the factories set up, building the factories. Um, you know, I did a lot of funding of that stuff. Um, you know, building civilization, basically. That's what I did. I built civilization. I built buildings. I love to. I love to build roads. I love to build tunnels. I love to build... So anyway, a lot of the precursor stuff that set up civilization, um, Auschwitz, um, uh, a lot of cities, basically everywhere, all kinds of different mines. Um, I would kind of set them up or start them, you know, and then and then once they got on their way, I was like, okay, there you go, you know, uh, getting stuff uh, put given to them or put to them, um, you know, putting out, uh, getting all the all the. Um, all the steam engines put out, the water wheels set up, huge amounts of stuff, logistics, 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 like crazy. Um, although I didn't handle the, the, the logistics, mostly I did the inventing and stuff and making them possible. After I got to a certain point, I was just like, all right, oh, I'm tired and done. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Been thinking all this time. Anyway, dealing with all kinds of problems. So, you know, um, most of my stuff was thousands of years ago on the setup stuff and then after i got it set up and got it going a certain way then it's like okay now then let people run it because i was tired and i didn't really want to do logistics or who does what or how they do it it's like i don't, I don't do that i do the inventing i do the setting up i do the paying for <laughs> after that i don't do it anymore um you know because i was always building my own little home like place i love to set up 
love to set up towns. Towns were my thing. I loved it. You know, you know, build a cottage, build this, build that. Uh, it was my that was my favorite part. It was all the building and stuff. Building tramways, try out this technology, try out that technology. I mean, that was my thing. That's what I love to do. And I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and the people did pretty well, you know, I mean, things got set up pretty well. And then once we got a certain amount of um, amount of point to, to work from, then things were really easy. And I was just like, okay, whatever, you know, um, and they built civilization. So anyway, um, but we're talking about cameras right now and film and the first movies and the first movies in Russia that were really popular. And then, uh, that used my factories as a, as a backdrop kind of for some sort of like fake revolt thing or whatever they that. It, 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 it was a silly plot. It was like the revolt of such and such, where the villagers came and did something or other. I was like, it, it was it was a silly plot. It was whatever, and they, and it featured one of my ships, I think, or something else like that. It was a, it was a movie done a long time ago. People liked it. It, would, they, it only cost like a penny to see back then, which is equivalent of like fifty bucks or a hundred dollars today. It was pretty expensive to see or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, though, but that was back in the Russian days, like umpteen hundred years ago, or something. Uh, and then after that, they made about 60 movies, I think, or something like that, or 13 movies. Or they, they ended up making quite a few movies. It was a really big hit. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, and then moved to Hollywood, which was, which was really Pollywood. There, there was a wood. I set up a wood mill there, uh, and it was like really, really advanced wood mill. Uh, I think it used like some river or something like that. And um, I don't really remember exactly the details of it. And there, I think... I think the thing was was they were trying out this new uh, wood chipped because be, because there's always some boards that that aren't really good wood that you really can't use and so I started a little project to try and use wood chips for for wood or structural members and so they were researching that and doing that and getting wood glues and trying pressed wood what's it called they also developed particle board um, but that is that kind of sucks. And they also did, but the wood chips, which is now plywood, which is basically the leftover wood that, that couldn't be used for good sheet wood or good wood planks. Um, they started making, using the byproduct for, uh, for plywood anyway. And that's, and I believe that, 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 that place was right there. And they built this big wooden sign, which had a steel backdrop that said polywood or something like that, I think, or it, it was a wood manufacturing place, um, and then later on, later on, um, because wood was the pl the plywood was cheap, they were building some test houses, which were just some like fake city stuff and some other stuff. And and we kind of get into Hollywood. Um, what is Hollywood? What is film? What is everything else? But we were kind of communists back then. I mean, it was all communism because I had just done communism, and then I hadn't done democracy yet or the voting system or anything else like that. So anyway. Um, and they were shooting some movies along with my uh, along with my documentaries of my projects, because I would document mines. I wanted the mines documented and the different things documented. And they were doing all that, and along with that, they were also doing with the historical reports. They were also doing um, uh, the 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 movies, which were kind of you know it's it's like Charlie Chaplin that kind of stuff, and just basic movie stuff and and charging like a penny or stuff but i was also doing circus and steam piano things um and i was having fun with that you know just like um you know i mean nobody would probably buy one of the big steam organs so i was like well I'll loan them out and if you make some money on it cool if not if you pay me back cool if not eh, oh well just put it in a museum somewhere when you're done with it so, I mean, I was like, whatever, you know, and they, and they went around with the steam traction engines, uh, although I think that was mostly in Europe. I don't know if that ever got to America exactly, but yeah, there used to be big steam traction engines and they would pull around a circus. But I mean, I had the elephant circuses before then because, you, you know, I had elephants like crazy and as my elephants were no longer needed, you know, they were old elephants. So I gave some, I think I had some circus stuff going on with that, um, tent stuff. I always like to um, try and make my people happy, and I'm getting up to the nine-minute threshold, so i got to cut this short.